so let's learn how to find the slope of a graph from just the graph we don't have points given nothing we just have to find the slope of the linear equation from the graph so what are the strategies that we can use the first thing we should know is the formula for the slope is m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 is the vertical change and x2 minus x1 is the horizontal change now vertical means going up or down and horizontal means going left and right and in other words you will also see this uh, formula a lot for slope it's rise over run so rise refers to the vertical change and run refers to the horizontal change remember and that's why i put the star here always read the graph from left to right okay so when you have to read the graph you will start from the left and see which direction is it going towards the right and why is that when you read the graph from left to right and it looks like it's going downhill it has a negative slope so if the graph looks like it goes down it has a negative slope and if it looks like it's going up it has a positive slope remember to read it from left to right now let's take a look at the first question so we have been given two points and when i see the graph it looks like it's going down so then we have a negative slope we should keep this in mind now let's see what is the rise over run rise is the vertical change so see how many units do you need to move down in order to reach up to that point and i can see that it's four vertical units and now let's go to that point so let me just take away the bubbles and create a line and now let's see how many units we need to travel to go to that point it is three units you can zoom out and count them yourself since it was a negative slope we can put a negative sign in front of this answer so please make sure that you write m equals to negative 4 over 3 okay let's see another question for question number 10 when we read it from left to right we see that it's going up which means it has a positive slope and again we will count rise over run so let's see how many units we need to go up in order to reach to that point it is five units and then we will uh, go two units to the right so our rise over run is five over two our slope is also five over two for number 11 we need to remember if the graph is parallel to the y axis it always passes through the common x point in this case that x point is 2 and when you see such a graph then the slope is always undefined sometimes it's written as the infinite sign but then we call the slope is undefined and then for our last question of this video y equals to now when you see a graph which is a horizontal line parallel to the x-axis you can see that this graph always passes through y equals to negative 1 and such graphs have a zero slope i hope this was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you later with more math related videos bye for now